Kia ora everybody, it's Mr T's Toy House with my trusty knife again. Um, not so much an unboxing today, I will unbox uh, a twin pack today. However, um, today is a little bit more about showing off what I've got in the golf range. Um, I suggested in another video that I really uh, like to collect um, certain liveries. Um, so I'll just quickly um, flash through some of the ones I've got. Um, and we'll start with, I guess, the TTs. Got this nice big truck. Um, some of you might have seen some of my photos online. Um, I like to build dioramas as well. Um, they're, they're a lot of fun. Um, I have a, I built a, uh, a golf garage for all my little toys, um, and I'll, I'll show you that set up. Uh, once I've flashed through all the cars, got this little bad boy came in premium. Never seen one of these in real life. Italian car. De Masto Pantera. There we go, look at that. Nice and heavy. Pretty cool. I've got these two here, they're very, very similar. Um, a Ford GT and a Porsche. They look very similar. We all know the Ford GT. That's a classic shape. I collect a lot of Ford GTs. On site, when you're pulling them off the pegs, <laughs> sometimes I end up buying doubles. Um, I do have a double up of these ones. Um, I managed to double up on this one, which uh, I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet. Probably just pop it off to charity. Another awesome TT. This one's nice and meaty. It's all metal. Nice cool wheels too. Pop that in the garage. In the garage. Oh, would you look at that? There's another Ford GT. Different though. Different numbers. Slightly different casting. I think one's a little bit more modern than the other. You can see the differences there. <laughs> I've got a little blackbird on my lawn. Picking out my worms. A little punk. This one here, this is a new release. Not really what I would call one of my favourites. Came out as a uh, a super, a glory chaser. Not one in my face, but hey, I'll do it anyway. Um, as you notice, most of mine are all pretty much the same colour. Um, I like to stick with that bluey colour, just because. I think this is just a cool colour. Look at that, they're cool. I don't, I'm not a big fan on Porsche, but man, these little suckers, the Outlaws, they're really cool. The Bentley, I'm sure I've got that right. No, Aston Martin, there we go. Um, one of the ones I have collected that's out of colour suit, just because it's a, a, a mainline. Is this one here, McLaren, cool car, cool casting. I don't know how it compares to the real thing, but I really like it. It's becoming a busy little garage. Um, one I'll show you guys that I won't open um, was part of a chase set, which uh, the Red Line Club brought out. I've got two of these, one in Moon Eye and one in Golf. You can see on the back there the cool cars that came out in this set. 
um, they're freaking awesome the set was awesome um, good luck trying to find one now um, they've either been split up cut open or held on to um, this is my feature for today the twin pack I'm absolutely stoked just because I like uh, Mustangs just to show you how much I like Mustangs I'll show you my little Mustang box try to collect a little bit of everything of the Mustang style and, and the lighting's terrible today sorry guys don't know if I'll do this outside thing again maybe on a brighter day however I love the birds in the background Mustangs there's another lot I've got all my a lot of premiums and a lot of my favorites are all sitting in here oh. some of you might have remembered the premium set that came out the golf premium set loved it loved it loved it and man and, and it comes in some wicked cars just make it so it's a bit easier to see Today's video, not super successful in my mind. Um, I think I will go back to being indoors again. Oh, there goes the school bell. You might see that that t-shirt that I'm wearing today. Penguin Entertainers Club. The club that I'm, I'm part of. Being a musician, um, it makes sense for me to be in a club like this. Um, I meet other musicians, we jam together drink together, talk together, talk about things, have a good time. It's good having a musician's club, you sort of get musicians and not rugby heads that cause a lot of trouble, not that all rugby heads cause trouble, it's just, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a testosterone thing, who knows.